what is going on you guys we are back out here and today I'm going to give you my top Instagram shooting locations for 2021 Sydney City Edition let's check it out okay so my first recommendation would be Observatory Hill yes it's just on the brink of the city and is awesome for portraits and just a great view of the city if you come here around golden hour which is the hour before the sun sets you get some sweet portraits like these ones if you haven't checked out already i highly recommend doing so okay so the next place that i've come to right as the sun is setting is the steps of the opera house you can get some awesome content here if you come here at the right time of day. Normally it's absolutely filled with people, but if you come here towards the end of the day, you can see it's not too busy, you can get some great shots. But again, come here like sunset or sunrise and the light will be just perfect. So another great place to come to get some great content is here in the QBB building. So a little known secret is that if you come up to the top, top floor of the building, you actually get a full top-down view of pretty much all the way to the bottom, which is about four or five maybe stories. So it's got some really great views up here. Plus there's just some cool stores, but if you wanna get some really awesome symmetrical photos or even just some great top-down photos, highly recommend it coming up here. If you're looking for some super Instagrammable content, I'd highly recommend checking out this spot right here, the center of town at Wynyard. So this place is right where the train station is. I mean, if you come to the train station, there's a good chance you'll probably end up going past this section. But basically what they've done is, they've actually taken these old stairs, so they used to be right where the new stairs are, but they've basically taken them and made a new kind of artwork installation and give them a new life. So you can get some really great shots down here, but otherwise just come and check it out if, if you don't want, even if you don't want to take some shots. It's still a really cool thing to check out. So another great spot to come to to get some awesome long exposure before it gets dark or whilst it's dark actually is the Domain Expressway Lookout. This place offers you awesome opportunities to take some great long exposures of the traffic below without being in the middle of traffic. It's actually really super safe because it's got the fence here and you can literally just set up your camera on the tripod and you're pretty much good to go to put on long exposure. Capture some nice trails of the cars going by. If you like long exposures, definitely come to this place. Okay, so the next spot I've come to now that it's gotten a bit darker is the Cahill Express Lookout. So if you come here at the right time of year and usually at night, you can get some really cool long exposures. So the good thing about this lookout is that it looks out over the Harbour Bridge and also looks out over the Opera House as well. So this is a super popular spot when Vivid was on or is on. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I highly recommend you guys coming here. Um, come here at night or just during the day. It's just a pretty good lookout point. But these are what the shots turn out like. So another great location to come if you like neon lights and portraits is 
this location here in Darling Square. It's filled to the brim with neon lights for art installations and just a really good place to shoot portraits. So, like I said, black shooting portraits, highly recommend coming here. And finally, last and definitely not most least, is Kimber Lane here in Chinatown. These cool blue figures up in the sky transform this otherwise boring lane into an awesome and epic place to get some great portraits. So, let's just check this out. Anyway you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you felt like you've got something from it, smash that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe for more content like this.